Hello, my dear students. In continuity of my previous chapter, that is the distribution of population, I'll be taking up now the density. Earlier, we have studied about that what is population, what is the distribution of population, and what are the factors responsible for the uneven distribution of population in India. As you had seen earlier that few states have a very high proportion of population, whereas the others, they have very less number of the population. So these factors we have already studied responsible for the uneven distribution of population. Now I'll be taking up the density of population. Now the question is, what is the meaning of the word density? It is expressed as the number of persons per unit area. In the other words, it is the ratio of the total population to the total area of the country. So mind children, we are taking up the two terms, one, the total population, another, the total area of the country. So how do we count the density of population? The formula for that is, the total population of the country is divided by the total area of the country. So with this, we get the density of population. Now, if you look at the screens, you can have a view of the table showing the density of population in the different census years, starting from 1901. As in our previous lecture also, we have seen that from 1901 onwards, we started with the regular census. So in 1901, the density of population was 77 only. So 77 means 77 persons per square kilometer. In 1911, it rose to 82. Then in 1921, the year which is known as a year of demographic divide, where we had a certain fall in the population, as we saw in the previous lesson also, that there was a certain fall in the population. So with the result, the density also falled by one person, that is from 82, it came to 81 persons per square kilometer. Then there's a gradual increase in the density of population. You can see on the screens. And the latest, if we talk about the 2011 census, the population rose to 382 persons per square kilometer. And if we just see the percentage increase in the density of population for all these years, you can have a view from 1901 to 11, there was 6.5% increase in the density of population. But then there was a fall in the density and the increase also had a fall that is minus 1.2%. But after that, there had never been a fall in the increase in the population. 11.1 in 1931, 14.4 in 1941, and if you can just look up at the screens, you can have a view in the increase in the population, percentage increase. And now in 2011, the percentage increase was 17.5% increase. So if the previous census year, we have a view that was a 2001, the percentage increase was 21.7 and now it has come down to 17.5% increase. Look at the screens again children and you can have a visual of the map of India showing the density of population. Again on this map you can have a view of the different colors which indicate that darker the color more the density of population and lighter the color indicating the low density of population. In our previous chapter also, we had seen that the UP experiences the high population of the India. But on this map, if you have a view, 
you can see it is not the state with the highest density of population, but this is the state with the highest proportion of the population. So that means here the area of the state comes in between because UP has a large area with the large population, so the density comes to less. So the other states also you can view Jammu and Kashmir and few northeastern states, for example, Arunachal Pradesh, Mizoram, Tripura, Meghalaya, where the density is low and will be taking up the factors responsible again for the uneven distribution of density in the country. Now, as in the table, we have seen that the density of population of India according to 2011 census is 382 persons per square kilometer. And there is an amazing fact to correlate it with that is, it is higher than the China's 129 persons per square kilometer density. We say that China is the leading country with the highest population, but you just compare the density of population with that of India. India's is 382, whereas in China, this is 129 persons per square kilometer. Now, India stands third in the world as far as the density of population is concerned, but this position of India is according to 2001 census. In census 2001, Bangladesh had 849 persons density, whereas Japan 334 persons density. And India stood third in the list with 332 persons. But now, after 10 years, the population density of India has risen up. And where India stood on the third position, now India is second in the world, followed by Bangladesh, because India is now experiencing 382 persons density. Now look up the screens, children, and you can see the four times increase in the density of population. Four times means the four-fold increase in the density of population. Now here is a table indicating the density of population because earlier we have seen the statistical diagram representation of the density. Now, it is a tabular formation of the density of population. 1921, the density was 81 only. 31, it rose to 90. 41, 103, followed by 117 in 1951. In 61, it rose to 142. In 71, with 177. 81, 221 persons per square kilometer, 91, 267, 2001, 325, and the latest, as we have discussed earlier, this is 382 persons per square kilometer. So this table indicates that the increase in the density of population for all these census years is four folds which is quite an alarming situation for the country. Now we take up the different types of the population density. We have already discussed the definition of a simple density of population, that is the persons per square kilometers is the density of population. We take up the three different types of density of population. The first is arithmetical density, second is physiological density, and the third is agricultural density. So we'll be taking up what all these three types of the densities mean. First, we take up the arithmetic density. How it is calculated? This is the total population divided by the total area, which is a normal density of population, as we have discussed earlier also. So that density which is counted by the total population divided by the total area 
is known as arithmetical density. Second type of density is physiological density. Now, just children pay attention to this that how this density is calculated and why this is known as a physiological density. So, this density is calculated by the total population divided by the net cultivated area. Now, here we do not take up the total area as we had taken up in the arithmetical density, we take up only the net cultivated area. So, net cultivated area is what? This area is the one which is cultivated for that particular year is known as the net cultivated area. So, this is how we calculate the physiological density. We divide the total population by the net cultivated area. Now, the third type of density is known as agricultural density. Now, here it changes. We do not take up the total population, but we take up the total agricultural population, because already we have spoken about that India is a land of villages, where the majority of the population lives in the rural areas. And the population living in rural areas work one way or the other in the agricultural activity, which is one of the primary activities taken up in our country. So, now we see that how the agricultural density is calculated. This is the total agricultural population divided by the net cultivated area. Now, the question is, what is the total agricultural population? The agricultural population includes both the cultivators and the agricultural laborers. Because laborers also work in the agricultural fields and they are also known as the agricultural population. So, when we take up the total agricultural population, we take up the combined population of the cultivators as well as our the cult agricultural laborers. And we do not forget to take up their family members also children, because the family members of the cultivators as well as the family members of the laborers, they work indirectly for the agricultural production. So, we also include the population of the agricultural families, which are a part of the agricultural population. So, children, these were the three types of the agricultural population density. Now, as we discussed earlier that there are the certain factors which are responsible for the distribution of population. Likewise, there are certain factors which are responsible for the uneven distribution of density of population in the country. These factors can be the natural factors which include the relief and the climate. So, it will be wrong to say that if we only take up the natural factors responsible for the uneven distribution of density, but there are certain social, economic, demographic, political and historical factors as well, which are responsible for the uneven distribution of population. So, dear children, we have discussed about the density of population, why the density of population is uneven, what are the factors responsible for that, and which are the different types of the population densities, and how these densities of population are calculated. Mm -hmm.